You just finished up the biopic, Reagan, where you played Reagan. What was it like playing that type of persona? That was one of my most amazing acting experiences, actually. Uh, Reagan was, he loomed large in my life. He was probably my favorite president. I was, I was uh, 30 when he was, you know, in office. And uh, uh, it's, I learned a lot about uh, about the band by, you know, by playing I and mean, the access that we had was pretty incredible. We were shooting at the Reagan Ranch, which is uh, not a a uh, tourist attraction, and uh, it was left just the way that he and Nancy left it, their clothes are in the closet, and uh, all the furniture you expect them to be coming back in the next 30 minutes or whatever, and they were doing scenes there that actually happened there. And it was, the uh, production was, blessed by the family and uh it's uh you know it's it's not just a one-sided piece though you know it's a real uh delving into uh who he was did you learn anything about him that you didn't already know well one thing i learned is that he was not a rich man yeah. i uh <clears throat> always kind of thought he was i mean uh but uh, going up to the Reagan Ranch, you get up there and you realize uh, how humble a person he actually really was. That sense of hum uh, having uh, humility in, in, uh, in your life, humbleness. Uh, they, you know, the, the house itself is maybe like, uh, you know, almost a one bedroom house in about 1,200 square feet. They had a king size bed, but it was two single beds that were zip tied together. Huh. And uh, it was it was just a beautiful place to be. You could really feel him up there. Of course, people know you from your amazing movies and all of your great performances, but you also have a love of music. Where did that come from? Well, that was from uh, my time as a boy. Uh, you know, I got my first guitar when I was 12 that my grandfather bought me. And uh, Johnny Cash, like I said, was an inspiration. It, it, it turned into be, being very much related to acting because writing songs and, and playing music is very much like telling stories, which is what acting is too. Do you write most of your songs? Uh, yeah, but I also do, you know, in shows and things like that, but I do music that uh, has influenced me in my life. Uh, you know, I, uh, that's the way I like to do it. Now you're getting ready to hit the road and do your own tour. What are you looking forward to the most? Just getting out there again. You know, it's been uh, quite a while since we've been able to do this. And uh, I'm really thankful to uh, able to you know, get out and start this again. It's just going. For me, I, you know, because I guess I've been in the movies, you know, where you, you go to uh, a one town and stay there for like two or three months when you're doing a film. So I'm, I'm new to this uh, road thing relatively to uh, uh, most of my music friends, and I'm really looking forward to going from town to town. And of course, you are the king of sports movies. Am I understanding this right, that you just signed on to do your 14th sports movie? By a 14th uh, uh, coming out, I think Christmas. Now, what is it that you love about doing sports movies? Well, they're very dramatic, aren't they? I mean, even when you know the ending. And uh, it's because sports movies, uh, the best of them are not about the sport. You know, like at The Rookie, which uh, I did, you know, which is baseball, but it, that was really about second chances in life. And I, I think that's what, uh, they're very relatable to people, I think. This one's Kurt Warner. Uh, you know, it's an underdog story, really. You know, I think everybody knows that story. You know, back with the St. Louis Rams at the beginning of the season, he was actually packing uh, cans on grocery store shelves at the beginning of the season. And the main quarterback got hurt and he took over and went right to the Super Bowl at the, at the end of the season. I mean, you can't get more, uh, you know, expansive opposites than that and it's it's amazing and uh, his life is life besides that story is really amazing he and his wife uh, i know you're good friends with so many of the country artists here like jamie johnson and brandy carlisle and some other people tanya tucker do you have any plans to do any kind of collaborations with them 
Yeah, in fact, uh, quite a few of them are going to be guests on my record. Nice. Yeah. Can you let me know who you're going to be having on there? Jamie's going to do a bit. I've already got Tanya Tucker and Chris Christopherson, which nice. is going. I'm uh, talking to Billy Ray Cyrus uh, about uh, doing something with it. And there's a, there's a couple other people that we're approaching, but people have been really great here. There's such a... Uh, very collegial here in um, in Nashville, mm -hmm. and uh, I really love that. Do you golf here? Only once a day. <laughs> once a day. <laughs> the reason I'm asking is because, of course, Billy Bush said he was golfing this past weekend, and he actually found a golf ball with the name Dennis Quad, and he wants to know if yeah. that was a mistake or a nickname. It's a mistake, actually. Uh, <laughs> It's it said Dennis Quad is here. Yes. From Ellen, I had my golf balls say Dennis Quaid is here. So mm -hmm. find the golf ball. Maybe you can return it to me or keep it, whatever. But uh, but I ordered a, a gross of them, which is what 144, and they misprinted and said Dennis Quad is here. Dennis. Hey, Billy. <laughs> Dennis, did you have to pay for that or did they refund you if they missed the I? Because you shouldn't pay for five letters when it's only four. I uh, called them and I, I, I got 144 uh, balls free. <laughs> and by the way, does anybody want to know what I was look what I was doing in the bushes <laughs> when I found your ball? Did you claim it was yours, by the way? It was deep over the sixth green, so it was a, you obviously powered one a little too much. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Good to see you, my love. <laughs> Take care. Be well. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.